We strive to build sustainability into everything that we do. And where we find ourselves today is we are now carbon neutral for over a decade, for 13 years now. And we have matched 100% of our electricity use with renewables in both 2017 and 2018. Because all of our products are running in our data centers, things that you probably use every day, like Gmail and Search and YouTube, because our data centers are carbon neutral, those products are carbon neutral too. But also for us, it doesn't stop with Google's operations. We also want to reach 100% renewable energy for our supply chain. We really want to utilize our technology for everyone to create insights that are helpful at a global scale, at a community scale, and for individuals. These beautiful orcas, their waters were once filled with hundreds of orcas, but today populations have dramatically dwindled. So recently, we teamed up with Canada's Oceans and Fisheries Division, as well as with Rainforest Connection, to see how we could use the power of machine learning and AI to help with the protection of these majestic creatures. So this sound that you're hearing, these are the orcas. And these sounds are collected by a network of 18 underwater microphones that are maintained by the Canadian government. They're called hydrophones. And we trained a machine learning algorithm to create high prediction rates of where these orcas are swimming. So now, anytime an orca passes by one of the hydrophones, we can automatically send an alert to both Rainforest Connection and the Canadian authorities. And this has three really critical uses. First, it's much easier to detect whales that are sick or injured. Second, much more accurate information can be given to ships so they can steer clear of the whale's path. And lastly, if there's an oil spill, we can use this information and pair it with other technology to steer the whales clear of those hazards. This one is called the Global Surface Water Explorer. And essentially what this tool offers is 35 years of data about how fresh water coverage has changed on the Earth's surface. And then very much related is air quality. As we know, air quality is a hyper-local issue. The Aquama sensor can measure all different kinds of air quality, NOx, SOx, particulate matter, CO2. And so we've attached their sensors to some of our street view cars. And we've now been able to measure 500 million air quality data points across California in several cities in Europe and coming to more soon. Your Plan Your Planet. This is a tool that we built with our local science museum in San Francisco, the California Academy of Sciences, and the Ellen MacArthur Foundation. And Your Plan Your Planet is based on the very simple premise that our biggest impacts on the planet are how we use energy, water, and food. And so this offers really easy tips and tricks that people can use at home to reduce those impacts. It is my sincere hope that whether you are an individual who wants to live more sustainably at home, a city official who's trying to build a climate action plan, or a business who's looking to drive sustainability in your operations. We hope that our technology can enable you on your sustainability journey.